to square up with actor and former professional boxing champ Mickey Rourke. Now, I've known Mickey Rourke for a while now. I've met him on numerous occasions. Whenever he's over in the UK, um, we always end up getting together. The Hollywood Hellraiser shot to fame in the 80s classics Nine and a Half Weeks and Angel Heart. But in the early 90s, he left Hollywood to return to his childhood love of boxing and spent 14 years as a pro. In 2005, he hung up his gloves and made a triumphant return to the big screen, starring in the critically acclaimed hit Sin City and an Oscar-nominated role in The Wrestler. How proud were you of it? It's the hardest movie I ever made. It's the best movie I've ever made. I'm goddamn proud of it. I went round his place, you know, and, um, you know, he's, he's someone who likes to keep it real. Right, then. Hold on a minute. Okay, go Welcome on, to on. New York. Thank you, thank you for having me. What are you doing here? I'm here doing some promotion for my next upcoming fight against Vladimir Bitchko Klitschko. Who? Vladimir the Bitchko Klitschko. Oh, wow. You know, you know him? You've seen him around? I've, I've heard of him. I hear he's pretty, he's pretty, I hear he's pretty scary. Yeah, if you haven't met me. Yeah? You haven't met me before, you. Yeah. Oh, he's pretty tall. Hey. Wow. Six, three or four inches tall, ain't I? Yeah, can I have that stool a second? Just throw it in here. Okay, here, I want to say something here. Okay, wait a minute. There you go. <laughs> okay, now. That's the best. Hit, 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 hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, you're going to be doing that all night long. Here you go, downstairs. We got, <laughs> yeah. We got, we're going downstairs. Yep. Big left jab. Okay, Inside okay. Here. There. Mm. Ah, all right. And roll out. That's the way it's going to go? Yeah, or the right jab again. Yeah. Outside. Oh, right jab. Boom. Okay, left, right here. Mm. Right. Mm. right. Kicks it has to employ. In 2009, David skill in the ring resulted in a triumph over the seven-foot Russian heavyweight Nikolai Valuev. David's sparring partner today knows all about facing up to the heavyweights of Hollywood. I'll do you right now. <laughs> but David wants to know why Mickey turned his back on this glamorous lifestyle for the dangerous world of boxing. All right, then you're the biggest Hollywood actor and you decide to take up boxing. I and wasn't at the time. Wasn't it? No, my career was going in the... In the, well, from in what the, I can the, remember, from no, what I remember. The, no, the career was going down, 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 and I thought, you know what, when it... It's, why, was it going, why was it going down? Uh, because of me. I just had a bad head at the time. Young? Young and bad head at the time, and uh, so I thought, let me go do something I really like doing yeah. instead of acting. <laughs> Mickey had become one of Hollywood's acting elite and was a heartthrob for a generation of 80s film fans. At one stage, you must have loved the acting. I did love it, but when what? I stopped loving it, that's when I got in trouble and that's why I went back to the boxing. So at, I what, didn't, at what stage I didn't did you stop loving it? Um, I think when I saw that it was a business and I was... Not an art. Yeah, but I was too immature at the time to, to accept it for what it was. I wanted it to be what I... Thought it should be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not what it really was. Said the wrong thing to wrong a few to. No, to everybody. To everybody. Yeah. Robbed everyone at the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go and talk to like a doctor who, for ten years, it would tell me how to change certain things that I did. And yeah. I wasn't really all for that, you know. But mm -hmm. now I look back on it, and it was the only thing that helped me. Because you know, I had certain uh, issues made me short circuit, you know. Yeah. Like respect issues. If pe I thought. Why is he looking at me like that? You know, and you can't do that all the time. <laughs> no, no, you know? no, 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 no. Uh, the wrong way. Doors you want to fight me? Doors open here. Uh, I'll do you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey took up professional boxing in 1991. Around the same time, a young David began his career in the ring. You're not fighting a whole country. You're fighting one man. I mean, I went out there and just, I mean, did the business. Growing up in Bermondsey, southeast. London, David was raised in a hard-working household and knew the benefits of self-discipline at an early age. As a youngster, I definitely uh, recognise uh, what work ethic's all about. You know, my dad used to graft real hard. He was up in the early mornings. He was back late at night when I was asleep. You know, so I hardly saw him because he was grafting, you know, trying to make ends meet. And I think I definitely believe that I've got that uh, from my dad, that, that hard graft. Home by one of boxing's finest. I had Freddie Roach, the great Freddie oh, right. Roach, yeah, as a yeah. trainer. How did you find him? Strict. 
Former boxing champ Freddie Roach has been voted Trainer of the Year on four occasions by the Boxing Writers Association of America. He's trained a number of champs in the past, including our very own Amir Khan. I remember I was getting for, ready for a fight in Kansas City and I wasn't training really, you know, the way I should be. And Freddie says, I'm going back to Las Vegas. Okay. Because when I had Freddie come uh, be part of my gym, he was parking cars out in Las Vegas. No way. This is way before Manny yeah, yeah. Pacquiao, yeah. Yeah, he's a multi, multi, multi now, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freddie can buy all of us. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, turned, I turned on the Jets a little bit because I was, just, I was very disappointed that Freddie left me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then Freddie came back, and we we uh, did it for we, we did it we did it for about five years together, yeah. and uh, and then I had a couple of neurologicals that didn't come back right, and they told me. You know, what were they? What was uh... They had the doctor had a problem because I couldn't remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> Shit. Or where I parked my car. What was that fight? down to? Would you say that was down to the fights or the, the sparring? Fight? Sparring, sparring. Who, what, what type of caliber was you sparring with? Well, James Tony, Duran, you know, Larry Musgrove, uh, uh, Tommy Hearns, yeah, I could forget about that one. Uh, what, what, happened, what happened when you sparred with Tommy Hearns? Uh, Tommy, well, I haven't, if anyone doesn't know who Tommy Hearns is, he is pound for pound the hardest puncher in history. Freak show power. Sparring aside, when it came to the real thing, Mickey was normally the one to come out on top. What was your official record, official professional uh, record? Eleven fights. Eleven fights. Yeah. Any any losses? Uh, no, I lost twice as an amateur. I had Twenty-eight fights as an amateur, mm -hmm. and lost twice. So you as know. a professional, I'm undefeated. Yeah. Well, I didn't get to fight everybody, but oh, no, then wait, again, still I, would... I don't. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't uh, undefeated's undefeated. Mickey El Marielito Rourke, division light heavyweight, height five eleven. Record 11 wins, no losses. Back. I'll tell you the oh. truth, when, you're, when the phone doesn't ring for like over a decade, yeah. you kind of don't think it's going to keep, after 10 years go by, yeah. you don't, and people say things to you, yeah. uh, that you know, you, you shut all your toes off. Uh, you don't really, there, there's a part of you that really wants to say, I can do it. Yeah. And then there's a part of you that goes, hmm, maybe it's all up, maybe, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. First movie that I, I remember seeing you in after a long while that really caught my attention was Sin City. Sin City. Sin that City. was one of the comeback things. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. remember seeing that and just thinking, I remember seeing, seeing the physical condition you was in. Right. I haven't seen you for God knows how many years. Yeah, a lot of steroids. <laughs> whatever, whatever, it was, whatever, you, whatever it was, you looked, you, you looked, you, looked, you, yeah, you obviously yeah. put, the, you put the hard training in. Put the training in, put the yeah, training and I had a really good director with Robert Rodriguez. And yeah. it was, it's nice that what happened really is I, all the guys that I pissed off, yeah. they got like we're like out of the business where there was a, a young generation okay, of, okay. of so these directors guys, that weren't afraid of it. Rodriguez right, had nothing right. to do with no. his, oh, he was his own so man. So enough time went by that all the guys that, you know, yeah. uh, I did this to were yeah. gone, okay. which was good, you know. Mickey received further critical acclaim in 2008 for The Wrestler, a role for which he won the best actor. Is The Wrestler the movie The Wrestler? For me, I went to see that, I think, three times in the a, in a, in a, in a movies. And it, uh, for me, that, that was... Thank you. you know, I was quite, very rarely do I get sort of choked up watching a movie. Maybe because I, maybe I know you and I know <laughs> your story and to see the story, the story of this. Well, I'm this more guy. proud of beating your friend in a race at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was, I was driving down um, in the west end of London one night and... I was drinking all night with the rugby guys. He was drinking with the rugby guys and I'm driving past and I see Usain Bolt's head. And I think, oh, Usain Bolt. So I stop the car, <laughs> look round and there's, there's uh, Mickey here, takes his shoes off <laughs> and about to have a race. The most random sight you'll ever see, ever. 4.30 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Mickey Rourke, Usain Bolt, the fastest human being ever. Right, and, and you need to beat him. Yeah. You need to you need Well, I beat said, him. ready, you, set, go, I went. He went, and then... Uh, I, I left on ready, set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to say, he did. He had to go some to catch up. Yeah, yeah, he, had, he had his yeah, head yeah, down. He was, yeah. he was driving. He just pipped you. He just pipped you at the post. He talked to you about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, remembers it. He remembers it. He wasn't, he wasn't that drunk. Following the success of... How much money I was lost up now? to 240, believe it or not. 240 um, pounds, which is about 18 stone yeah. in English Okay, money. and I'm down to 214 now. 
and we're okay. gonna go down to 175. Why is that? Why are you getting, why are you stripping down this fat? So we're, we're training for one year to do the rugby movie. Okay, which one's that? About Gareth uh, Thomas, the, the gay, they Gareth, call it, the, uh, well, the, the rugby player who was gay. Was gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's the, the research going with a Welsh accent? I'm not doing that. I'm just concentrating on losing uh, 40 more pounds. Okay. Because, uh, listen, I'm too old to play rugby, but what I, my, my objective is, is to at least look like yeah. I can play it, you know? Okay. I'm looking forward to hearing your Welsh <laughs> accent. Yeah. It's well, fun. I'll probably work on it for about four months, so. Yeah. Okay, okay. What do you think of the game of rugby? <laughs> I like it. There's still some shit I don't understand. Okay. I mean, I'm come from play, you know. I played American football over uh -huh. here in high school and all, and I, you know, I, I got that down. But the rugby thing, I'm, I mean, I'm getting it. You know, we watch it's it not every night. Ball forward is the exactly all that. All <laughs> this, behind yeah, you. yeah. But it's a rough game. Those guys. Yeah. I went into the locker room and Gareth got done playing at Cardiff. Uh, at least nine of them were getting stitches. Yeah. You know. So and, regular. So and big yeah. fuck. I should have. I should have wanted to do a tennis movie or something. So how much contact are you actually going to take in this? Uh, as little as possible. It's a good plan. Yeah, them right. Boys, you talk to me about them that. Them yeah. boys can yeah. hit hard. No, we, I mean, gonna do, I'm going to do, we're doing a lot of sprints now. I'm going to do uh -huh. most of the running myself. Okay. We'll, do, uh, we'll do what need be, mm -hmm. the contact stuff. Yeah. But what I don't need to do, I'm not going to be foolish and, yeah. and, and do You're too brave. Too much. No, not don't too be much. a hero, Mickey. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to. Don't worry. No. I'll have a hard enough time with the Welsh accent. Yeah. To research his role playing Gareth Thomas, Mickey's been spending some time down the pub with a few rugby players. <laughs> we were arm wrestling. We had okay. met that night because all, okay. all these guys walking. I go, oh, fuck. I hope they don't get rowdy because, you know, there's just me and four of them. Yeah. And we, and they were really nice. And yeah. We started arm wrestling. I, I think I did okay for a while, and then yeah. this big fucking lump, he must have been right on the <laughs> Y, came in, and we were like this for like, you know, a good couple of minutes, and then yeah. finally my bicep tore right down the thing, <laughs> didn't feel it, kept drink we kept drinking shots, and we went from there to the race. God damn, that's nuts. Yeah. How's, your, how's your arm now? It's no good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never be any good. A memorable night then. A memorable it? night. Uh, <laughs> I'll never arm wrestle again. <laughs> All this talk of this year from boxing, right. and I'm thinking about getting into the movie industry. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. What, what advice could someone of your stature Don't give me? just depend on your superior good looks. Okay. Okay. Damn it! God damn it! Uh, okay, come on. Uh, your advice study for, hard. for the acting. No, for the do, acting. Your, do your road work. Do your road work. Yeah. yeah. Study, study, study. Forget about the fight, do the road work. There's a lot of mediocre or shit actors, just like mm -hmm. in fighting. There's yeah. a lot of guys that. Just aren't that good. The right promoter behind them. It depends on it bombs. depends on what how, how much integrity you have and how good yeah. you want to be. Okay. If you can't be the best, why be in the game, right? Hmm. Definitely. You just want to be another salami sandwich? No. <laughs> I want to be a prime a prime rib. A prime and, uh, rib. Similar, a prime. Yeah. You're already a prime yeah. rib. <laughs> Can I get out to the fight in Germany? I'm gonna to try to if I'm in Germany, yeah, I Brilliant. want to. I'd get like your, to go. get your girlfriend's parents over there as well. You're gonna get past the sixth round? Do you want me to? Depends on what you Yes, I on. do. I have, I have, I have two hundred dollars on you. Oh, Amiga, what round do you want? I want you to get past the sixth. Pa is that it? Just past the sixth. That's it. Past the sixth. Yeah, yeah, no, you no. know why, right? I try not to knock him out too early. <laughs> Thanks so much for okay. coming down here. Right. And the so winner is the undisputed <laughs> heavyweight champion of the world from London, England. I was going to pull you. I was going to pull your trunks down. <laughs>